confidence comes naturally. Sponsored by Jerkins Naturals, total nourishment body moisturiser. Your skin is about the same size as this queen's size duvet. Fact. Now, that is a lot of skin to be taken care of. Hello, I'm Anna Richardson and welcome to Skin and Bear It, the show that puts the nation's skincare routines to the test. Now, each week I'm going to be challenging two viewers to swap their routines for three weeks and then check out the transformation. Meet Claire Randall, a 23-year-old self-confessed girliest of girly girls. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty girly. She's a part-time model, so her looks are important, but this lady of the bathroom manner has been obsessed since her early teens. A bath every day, a shower in the evening. I always exfoliate. I have three different types of moisturisers that I like to use. Get on with it, love. We have got a show to watch, you know. And over in the blue corner, it's 20-year-old student Suzanne, who has plenty of time on her hands, which she doesn't like to spend in the bathroom. Oh, I do shower every day, but that's about it. Suze has obviously got better things to be doing, like... Studying. And... Acting. And... Socialising. So, Suze, do you have a beauty tip? My beauty tip is to get lots of sleep. Before they meet and swap, beauty expert Rosie Lewis takes a close look at the skin, ready to spot the problem areas. I'm going to start with Claire. Yes. Claire, 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 I can tell by your skin that you are a caner of the moisturising cream. This skin is full of sheen. You've got an emollient surface to your skin. You're going to block your pores. You're going to cause yourself body acne if you're not careful. <gasps> mm. Claire, let me... I'm going to touch. <gasps> you now, see? do you know, you can see because some yeah. of your pores already are... Little... Is that a touch of fake tan, I see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what it's done is it's giving your creams a layer to sit on top of because you haven't exfoliated your fake tan off. It's got nowhere to go but sit on top, get your sweat stuck, get your pores stuck. Disaster. Yeah. <laughs> Two words, sweat stuck. It's not good. <laughs> Suzanne. Suzanne has got beautiful, pale, flawless skin, but Suzanne, what's with the snake skin you've got going on here? I'm sorry, this is absolutely awful. Look, she's got dry elbows that are screaming out for moisturiser. She's got very, 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 very dry knees. My main concern, scaly skin. Suzanne, I've got to say, who'd have thunk that you got no, all that no, on, on, the, on, the back of your, on the back of I your... I know. Well, I can't see there, can I? So that's my excuse. Now time for Pampa Princess Claire to swap with bathroom-phobic student Suzanne. So, Suzanne, pick up your book. What's it say? In a nutshell, I love, love, love pampering. So good luck with my routine, as it's going to be 100% bathroom dedication. In a nutshell, I love, love, love not spending time in the bathroom. Routine lover Claire is less than pleased about what she finds. How's that going to fit with you? Well, not good. <laughs> You're having a slight sort of nervous breakdown over this one, aren't you? Yes. While Suzanne is overwhelmed with all of her Suzanne. products. A lot for you stuff. to be getting yeah. on with, lady. And I'm quite busy, so to spend all this time in the bathroom is, you know, inconvenient, but there we go. You're a student, Suze. I think you'll be all right. So, girls, good luck with changing your routines, and I'll see you back here in three weeks. Now for a little spot of DIY body care with a deliciously decadent chocolate body pack. Take one ripe papaya, chop, and throw in a blender. Add three fresh strawberries, chop, and add to a blender. Add five tablespoons of sweet almond oil, a dash of vanilla extract, and a massive glug of honey. Blend, take a big old bar of dark chocolate, melt, and pour over the ingredients. Grab a paintbrush and, if you're lucky, someone to help you, and get slathering. Leave for half an hour and then shower off. Delicious. Suzanne, how did you get on with it all? Um, all right, actually. I find that my legs are now really smooth. My arms, not bad, not bad, but I, it was nice. I think you know, it was nice to smell nice in the morning. OK, so you smell better. You well, might... not I smelled bad before, but... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, <laughs> so you, you, you smell better, you feel better, yes. and you've really noticed a difference in your legs. In my legs, yes. Just look at your legs. They're amazing. It's such a transformation. The skin is incredible. Like, it really does go to show. When you really put the effort in, moisturising, really working in, it's made a massive difference.
And Claire, how about you? Um, I feel really... I felt really dry. Looking at your skin now, particularly a problem spot I can see is the here on the elbows. I mean, there's some dermatitis Ooh, yes. there. We've got some red, raw, patchy skin. It really needs to be looked after and moisturised, and that's the result of, uh, of parched skin. So, one good quality moisturiser that is effective, it doesn't have to break the bank, and that's all you need to keep your skin in tip-top condition. Thank you very much indeed, ladies, and we'll see you next time on Skin and Bear It. In next week's show, see how no routine Simon fares against a lady who uses not 10, not 20, not 30, but a staggering 49 products on her body every single week. And we make a wonderfully detoxifying acai berry body mask.